Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Mrs. Espinosa and I am a kinder teacher in Texas. So today friends was our first glow day ever. So in case you missed my last vlog, it was designated as a teacher work day. So I got to finish cleaning up my classroom and basically all packed up. And I just wanted to do something very different for the last two weeks. So this whole week was designated as a glow week instead of just one day. I got rid of all my student desks and I have some yoga mats that the gym teachers let me borrow so here are the beautiful yoga mats i went ahead and just brought like all of the cart because we did put them away right now for the end of the day just so it's easier for the custodians to clean up i ended up setting up five centers and we invited miss mo's friends over so i think she has 11 students i had 13 so we had about 24 students and I did go ahead and purchase five black lights. Let me show them to you very quickly. If these are the black lights, they are 24 inch from the brand HyperTuff. And I got these at Walmart for about $11 a piece. And I did go ahead and purchase five of them. I probably would have been okay with like three or four, but I'm just being real extra. And I got five of them. They lit up really well. I was nervous about the bulbs getting hot, but I'm happy to report that like we had them on for over an hour and they did not get hot, so that's really great because I was really nervous about that. Another little fun addition was this little like disco light. I bought it like my second year teaching, but this is like multi-purpose. I think this is a really fun must-have as a teacher. I think it was around $12. I'll link it in the description, but yeah, I got it off of Amazon. Batteries have lasted a really long time. You just turn it on and it changes according, like if it hears music, it'll change to the beat of the music. I love this light, I use it every single time. I can just incorporate it. We started off with 15 minute rotations for like the first two of them, and then we switched to 10 minute rotations, so they did visit all five of the centers. I did not purchase any new centers for this glow day. I was just reusing activities that my students were already familiar with as like a review. So let me show you guys what those five centers were. So we had a sight word review center. I have a handful of extra copies from their little sight word packet, so that's literally what it is. I can link these in the description, but I've definitely shared these in previous vlogs. They completed these for independent work throughout the year, took the staples off, and they can just pick and choose what words they wanted to review. So that was one EC center. All they needed was highlighters for CVC words. I did start off with paper word families, just whatever extra copies I had, but I think by like the second rotation, they were gone, so. I just took these out. These are from One Sharp Bunch and printed these so they would come out for on a page. And they just went ahead and wrote with the highlighters just straight onto these. Super great practice. And then they just wiped it with the tissue. Center number three was a rhyming center. So I forgot where I downloaded these cards from. They're like rhyming words. These are originally supposed to be like rhyming word rings and it has like the little circle here so you can hole punch these but it's a ton 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 of rhyming words and so that was like a super easy center i have a ton of clipboards and i've also shared that i made this really simple graphic organizer so for example sad rhymes with bad so my students know how to fill these out and they taught Ms. most kids how to do it this graphic organizer is already on my teachers pay teachers i'll link it it's free yeah i use this a lot with just different types of cards. This year I also used it with their Google Slides, just anytime. I always like for my students to record any work that they did. Center number four, just a math review. They were practicing addition. So I did keep these in the right and white pockets just because they were already in here. And then we had a ton of pom-poms that Miss Mo let us borrow, so that was their math center. And then the fifth center was just foam blocks. So these are the foam blocks. They're not anything special. They don't light up, but I just wanted them to have a center where they could build. So those were our five little centers. And so tomorrow they will rotate through them again, just 10 minutes each. Our first day went pretty well. The only other tiny thing, I don't use any markers in my classroom. So this was kind of the first time that they were using the highlighters. And some friends took their mask off and, and decided to color their tongue. So you might want to 
cover that as your rules before you start any activities. I'll definitely do that tomorrow. You do not put these highlighters in your mouth, especially not on your tongue. So we had to toss a couple of them. Just these kindergartners will just always surprise you with the things that they do. I was not expecting them to try and color their tongue, y'all. But all right, y'all, that's kind of it for today. And like I said, we're gonna do similar centers the next couple of days. So I'll probably just check back in with y'all on Friday and let y'all know what we did. It is Thursday after school, so I just want to check in very quickly. These past couple of days, yesterday and today, were kind of crazy because we just have a lot going on with finishing out the end of the year and turn this in, turn that in, print this out, print that out. Yesterday, we ended up having one more math test and it was 40 questions, y'all. That was unpleasant. So I ended up pulling like three small groups so that we could get it done but oh my poor babies like that was just so horribly long today we've been packing up all of the student technology all of my in-person students i collected all of their ipads and their chromebooks turned those in so i'm just waiting on my online students to turn them in so tomorrow is going to be like our last day of hybrid teaching yesterday while my kids were doing the math test the kids that were being tested were with me in my small group table and the other kids were just honestly just doing free play i still had the lights going on and i think they were doing like play-doh legos and some other type of building and today they honestly did the same thing. And then we had one more like end of the year district test that they had to do on the iPad. So we did that very quickly before they picked up the iPad. So like it just felt crazy. Miss Mo and I were blowing up balloons this morning because she volunteered us to be in charge of end of the year pictures. Typically our school does at least one fundraiser where it's pictures and like we charge parents five dollars for a picture and usually it's the office staff or admin that will set up like the background or backdrop for the picture but yeah miss mo had the idea to set it up in her classroom for the pictures and she has like a fancy camera and like she's ready to go so that's going to be very interesting because we have about 900 students and typically it's like between five and six hundred students that do bring in the money and want pictures so since the setup is in miss mo's room i'm gonna have her kids so it's just gonna be crazy as tomorrow but i'll bring you guys with me into miss mo's room just so y'all can see what we're working on and then i will see y'all tomorrow <music> friends it is friday and i'm gonna end this week with a car vlog because i was just ready to run out of school today so i kind of have like three highlights so today was just crazy because it was picture day and it was really more like mo in charge of it i tried to help but i had her kids with me most of the day so in the morning i handed out rosters to all of the staff and just letting them know to highlight student names to just be ready with the money and a ziploc so it could be as organized as possible i'm pretty sure she took over 500 pictures we will see she has homework over the weekend like she has to sort all the pictures and get that ready but yeah i had this most students with me today i was just trying to keep them busy y'all remember that 40 question math test i told y'all about so today we had to fill out bubble sheets for each of our students because you know kindergartens just don't know how to bubble in things 
we tried it and yeah they, it was horrible <laughs> they don't know how to bubble in so I had to bubble in 40 questions for each of my students and then since Miss Mo was busy like I went ahead and did her class as well so I spent two hours bubbling in answers to date it took me like an hour from my class and then an hour for her class that was brutal so our kids had just take a nap early today like I laid them down at like noon y'all and yeah I finished at like 2 that was but it's done and then we had like some other data about reading levels to input in the system as well but at least that was really quick so like yeah that's really how my day went and highlight is that today was actually the last day we logged in with our virtual online students because our district or school already started picking up um, the iPads, all of the technology that was lent out to students. They've already started um, collecting them. I mentioned this, I think, like for my in-person students. So yeah, my online students have to turn in their technology. They will have to turn in their technology um, like next week. But yeah, it was the last time I have to log in online. So I'm sorry to my online babies, but I was just so ready to be done. Um, so yeah, they're just working on whatever work they haven't finished. And that's how we'll account for them as far as attendance. Third highlight, as I mentioned, next week will be the last week of school for us. So five more days. And we are in the state of Texas. Our governor mandated that it will no longer be required for us to wear masks. And I mean, really the majority of our teachers are vaccinated. There is there's just no point of us wearing masks. If you are vaccinated, you are good. If you've had COVID, like you are good. So I'm, I'm not nervous about it. I'm so ready to just be done with masks. Our principal sent us an email today because they already have the star results since it was taken online. So she was kind of breaking down how overall the students performed. And there was a little sentence sprinkled in there saying something along the lines of, thank goodness it will be a normal year that gives like the hint hint like we should have our regular school year next year I really hope so but yeah I'm just ready to finish out I mean I'm ready to finish out the week I feel like it's just going by so fast I still don't know what exactly I'm gonna be doing next week like as far as special activities I think I'm honestly just gonna keep the black lights going like my kids have enjoyed it my kids requested slime they really want to make slime so I'm I don't I'm gonna see I'm gonna look into a recipe and see if I can buy the materials for that um, and we still have magnets to make and I still need to get all their goodie bags together next week I still need to finish up data like there's still quite a bit to do I'm not gonna do any of it this weekend though but I might have to stay after school on Monday like I'm mentally preparing because I might have to stay after school on Monday to yeah get all that data done like they gave us a deadline for Tuesday they just told us yesterday that they want all of the data put together and ready by Tuesday. Like we are gonna have an actual PLC on Tuesday where we'll go over data. So I'm just gonna enjoy my weekend and next week will be what it needs to be. But I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. Maybe gave you some ideas in case you wanna do your glow day or glow week. Why limit it to a day if you can have a whole week? If you are still in school, let me know when your last day is. Stay safe and I'll definitely see y'all next week for my last week of school vlog.